Do you have a car? If yes, yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. We bet that you had to replace a burnt out headlight bulb at least one time in the past. Don't go to an expensive dealer for a simple bulb replacement. Subscribe to this channel and save time and money. Here you will find the best in the world information about halogen, xenon, and LED headlights. Based on more than 20 years experience, we will also show you how to troubleshoot and repair your headlights. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Hi guys, today I will review Chrysler 300C Xenon headlight. Basically, this video can be used as a repair guide for uh, Chrysler 300NC Xenon headlights. If you have a low beam failure, if you have a high beam failure, so you will you will know what to replace and how to solve your issue. Chrysler 300NC models are produced between 2004 till 2010. And basically they are two types. Although they are identical externally, as far as their xenon systems are concerned, they are different. Basically, the one produced from 2004 till around 2008 is Valeo Sylvania made. And it has a Valeo 12 pin ballast configuration. The second type is Chrysler Mobis Mate. Actually, it's almost identical, but the ballast unit is a different uh, producer. Later, I will come back to this. It's uh, Kaboda Mate. Uh, the ballast unit is Kaboda Mate at this headlight. Let's begin with the earlier models. Here, this is one of the uh, most common headlights for uh, Chrysler 300NC. Most of them are Valeo Sylvania made. Let's start with the low beam uh, troubleshooting. If you do not have a low beam at your Chrysler 300C headlight, basically it means that either your Xenon bulb is faulty or your Xenon ballast which is located underneath the headlight. Of course, always check first the bulb. Here, the xenon system is consist of one D1S type xenon bulb and one ballast unit Valeo 12 pin. You can visually inspect your xenon bulb if there is something uh, blown out at this bubble then you will be sure that the, the fault is at your xenon bulb. Otherwise, the best way to be sure exactly, you have to take the working bulb from the working side headlight and put it to the non-working side headlight. Replacing the bulb is pretty much easier, straightforward. You just have to observe the notch located on top of the bulb. Here you will see the opening and there is a notch at the headlight at the headlight. So simply you have to observe it, you have to put it 12, 6 o'clock position the xenon bulb, and then you have to just lock it with the spring and put the power cable. I guess it should be like this, yes. The first thing that you have to do is the xenon bulb swap between the headlights in order to see whether you will have a low beam or not. If you take the if you take the non-working uh, if you take the non-working bulb out and put the working side working bulb at this headlight and if you do not have a low beam it means that you have to check also the xenon ballast unit, which is located underneath the headlight. This is bigger issue. Most probably you will have to find some access underneath the headlight or remove the headlight altogether. Here 
here you have to remove two plugs. One is the power plug, which goes into the xenon ballast, and the other one is the xenon bulb. Basically, you have this is your xenon system in action. So, in short, if you do not have a low beam, either your xenon bulb D1S type is faulty or your xenon ballast is faulty. So, xenon ballast is Valeo Mate 12 pin LAD 5G type 890321331 is the Valeo part number, but basically, if you use any of these 12 pin xenon ballasts, it's not a problem. That's all for low beam troubleshooting. So, if you have a high beam failure, it means that your halogen type bulb is burned out. This is your high beam. It's H, HB3 type bulb. I cannot say that is very common, but still you can find them in most of the gas stations if you have a high beam failure you have to rem remove this halogen type bulb and at this headlight you you have very uh, very rare indicator type bulb it is py27 type py27 type bulb it's very rare you have to look around at least in in Europe it's very rare this one is actually for trash very old one and then you have a parking light bulb it's one of the most common ones W5W type I don't know why it's not coming I will not Here, it's one of most common ones as stated. This burns very frequently. You have to change very frequently. This uh, this one is also burn out bulb W5W type, but nothing to do. And then that's all for the earlier type xenon headlight, which is consisting of Valeo 12 pin xenon ballast and D1S type. This is the Chrysler Mobis version of for the same car and basically it's used at the very last models 2008, 2009 and 2010. It's very rare headlight and it's very difficult to find replacement ballast unit except the dealers. Here we have again D1S type xenon bulb. The bulb is same, exactly the same. All other stuffs are also same. We have here we have HP3 uh, halogen type bulb. If we have W5W for the parking light, and we have for the uh, indicator. Exactly the same PY27 7 volt halogen type bulb. The problem with these headlights, as stated, is that if you have a low beam failure and you find out that your bulb is working, then you are in a trouble a little bit since the ballast unit at these headlights are very rare. It's very difficult to find them. Here. Again, we have 12 pin, but these are not interchangeable. The older version and the Keboda Valeo Xenon Ballast and the Keboda Ballasts are not interchangeable. The Chrysler part number for this ballast is BAM2092 uh, middle line. 107180. As you can see, it's a Keboda mate. 
original Chrysler part, but unfortunately they aren't interchangeable. So if you have a ballast failure at the later type headlights, it's very uh, more difficult to find a replacement one. If I have to summarize, these both headlights are same. The only thing, the only difference uh, is their ballast units. If you have a low beam failure, you have to check D1S type xenon bulb or your ballast unit which is located underneath the headlight. If you have a high beam failure, then you have to replace your HP3 type halogen type bulb, ordinary bulb. I guess that's all for the Chrysler 300C xenon headlights. If I uh, if I forgot something, you can uh, ask in the comment sections. If you have any questions, of course, you can drop down them in the comment sections. Thanks for looking, guys. All the best. Bye for now.